Hey guys, welcome back to episode number 2. Let's begin from where we left off in the previous video. So, we are going back to our code editor now. Now, let's close this stuffs and open just this plugin.php file. Alright, so let's understand what we have uh, already written here. So, this is actually basic uh, commenting things that WordPress knows that this is a plugin. Alright, and uh, this line meaning that we are auto loading all the uh, composer things so this is actually our main plugin class and we are managing our version with this constant we have a construct function where we are including this plugin constants where we actually define all our necessary constants that we are going to using throughout our plugin so we do also have a nonce if we will if we need and we have two hooks one is for register activation and another is for deactivation so we are hooking this activate and deactivate method with it and finally we are initialized uh, uh, we are calling this init plugin method when we are triggering this plugins loaded okay so if we go to this init So in this init method, we are actually creating a singleton instance for this class so that this class will not be able to initialize twice. And into this activate method, we are grabbing this wpvk is installed and if there is uh, no value, then we are updating with it with the current time and if, uh, otherwise we will updating with the current version number. So right now the deactive method is blank and also this initialize plugin method is blank where we will be initialized our uh, classes when we fill up this uh, uh, API or the admin or the front-end classes right so finally what we are doing we are initializing the main plugin calling this uh, class and this static init method and at the end we are running this plugin so this is uh, basically it pretty simple structure for this plugin.php now let's move on to this api thing so in this api folder we have another folder which is admin and inside that there's a file which is a settings dot a settings dash route dot php so let's get started with this one now now in this file we will be writing our all uh, settings related rest apis that we are gonna need so let's open this php tag and we are going to give a namespace here and the name space will be wpvk and then this api folder and then admin of course and we are going to name this class as also we need to use because this is uh, uh, we are creating rest api so we need to uh, initialize that wp uh, rest controller class like this and then we can say settings route now for this php uh, psr4 standard we must uh, follow this rule so we have to write exactly in the same way that the file name is written without the dot dot php extension of course so it's gonna extends our uh, this wp rest api controller all right so here we will take some protected assets so protected now our namespace now this namespace variable is different from that namespace keyword so this namespace will hold up uh, are we writing it correctly yes so this uh, this will hold up uh, the uh, router namespace so we do need another one protected and this is this will be the rest base that will also be protected now let's hope uh, create our construct function so not like this all 
all right so here we will be initialized with the values so this namespace uh, we will give wpvk version 1 so which will be our namespace and this rest base rest base value will be uh, let's say settings okay now you know the next part we will be creating or registering our routes so you can say register uh, routes like this and we can create a public function uh, which actually need to say public and let's give it a name called register uh, routes like this all right and here we need to use a function that wordpress provides that is called register rest route like this and it will take some options as well as a parameter so first thing we need to pass is the namespace and the second thing we need to pass is the uh, what we can say this uh, rest base okay so to avoid this actually what we can do we can just Put a slash here so we do not need to add this concatenation just we can say uh, rest base like this and the next thing is an array where we can actually pass our things in terms of uh, whether we want to add a get request or we want to submit a post request so at first let's uh, start with our uh, uh, get items route so we need to pass bunch of array keys this is the method and for method we'll be using wp rest server uh, wp rest server and we need the readable assets like this and also we need a callback and the callback actually what we will be creating later on so let's say get items and then uh, we can say uh, another thing we need to pass is the permission callback by which we will be able to understand that whether i do have a permission to access this request or not so that will also we need to be creating created later so we can say get let's say get route access for now and let's keep or let's leave it like this okay now let's create our this uh, get item method so we can say get items response get items which will accept a request of course not like this and for now let's for testing with the postman let's uh, return a response which is a dummy one so let's pass an array and we actually or we will in the future we actually store three things first name last name and email so let's take that like first name let's say john last name 
crypto and his email let's say jtoy at gmail.com like this and uh, finally we need to return this response as rest and cheer response so we can say return rest ensure response like this yes and we need to pass this response also we need to create this uh, get route access so let's create it here access so we can say public function get route uh, access this will also having a request parameter and for now let's just return true because for we we want to allow everything as a public for now we'll delete it later okay so now let's uh, move into this get item so what we have done we just uh, send a fake response to test it out whether our api is working or not but before testing that we need to add these files into this appropriate uh, classes as well so let's open this api.php and give a php tag opening tag and namespace let's wpvk of course this is api and we need to use this wp rest uh, controller as well okay and then we can create this class and we can call it as our file name so it will extend this rest uh, rest controller and we will be creating a construct function here and say public function not like this construct and we will be creating another method which will uh, held every uh, routing class and initialize their methods so we can say register uh, api routes like this and we can say like public function register routes like this and let's call that settings route uh, settings route like this and we are going to use our this register routes method there is there anything unsafe no okay so i think i copied blank space as well so let's correct that like this now let's add a semicolon here and also we need to use this class so uh, i do have a plugin uh, which is called uh, i think php namespace resolver or something like that i forgot it let's yes this one this php namespace resolver so what it will do if we right click on it and right click on the class and click on import class as you can see this uh, thing is imported automatically so which is very handy and very fast fast okay so we have initialized this settings route.php into the api but the problem is we do not yet initialize this api.php anywhere else so let let's open our uh, plugin.php or it is already opened now let's scroll down to uh, that init plugin this one and here we can initialize our new api class like this and as before we can import class like this way 
so it should be imported maybe at the top at the beginning but uh, we can adjust it and place it just here after that the other one will be following after this line so i think we are set here to test our first uh, route that get request with this uh, wp vk the, um, then v1 then the settings so let's check that out now open this uh, postman app and let's open a tab and paste the url so it is our url then the wp json then our namespace v1 and then the route base so we of course we are sending this gate request so let's click send and hope for our expected outcome and the expected outcome should be uh, this re uh, this response right here as not as an array but as a json response okay so let's click on send and it is saying rest no route no route was found matching the url okay i think i know why it is happened here it is so we actually um, initialize this class but we actually not hooked it with anything so we need to pass add action and we need to say rest api route which is provided by the wordpress and then we need to initialize this register routes here like this all right so now let's test again click send and again it is saying that so let's check that Oh, it should not be REST API route, it should be REST API INIT. My bad. So let's recheck again. Now let's click on again, third time lucky. And yes, our response is coming as you can see as a JSON object. So first name John, last name Doe, and the email. So now uh, we can say that our uh, uh, route is actually working as we expected. Alright, so into the next video, we will be start creating our post request through our uh, REST API system. So, see you in the next video.